Our current understanding of science tells us that the change in the chemical balance in the brain results in a feeling of pleasure or sadness. These chemicals are known as neurotransmitters. But now there is an increasing body of evidence suggesting that it's not only the brain in our body which is controlling our emotions and behaviors. There is another organ. Our belly. Which acts as the second brain. In this video, we are going to talk about our second brain. Stay tuned with us. We all have a second brain, this organ is controlling much of our mental and physical functions like our brain in the head. There are many disorders which may be due to disturbance in our second brain. These disorders include obesity, cardiovascular disorders, cancer and even mental health. Our belly is filled by trillions of unicellular microorganisms, known as bacteria. These bacteria are very friendly to us and produce many important vitamins, neurotransmitters and hormones for us. Approximately, our body is composed of 10% of human cells and 90% of friendly bacteria living our belly. Any change in the composition of these bacteria may disturb the overall balance in the body. For instance, in one experiment when mice gut is colonized with bacteria known as Toxoplasma gondii, the mice lost the fear for cats and become friendly with cats. Ultimately, ended as cat dinner. Have you ever wondered why obesity and diabetes are getting more and more common in today's society? The potential reasons may be increasing number of C-sections and unnecessary use of antibiotics. In one survey, it was found that kids born through C-section are more susceptible to obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular disorders as compared to kids who are born through natural delivery. In a normal delivery, a baby gets the first dose of friendly bacteria from the mother birth canal. In the case of C-section, rather than getting friendly bacteria from the mother body, the child gets harmful bacteria from the skin or hospital environment which make him susceptible for previously mentioned disorders. Since the discovery of antibiotics, we have waged a war against bacteria. In this war, we are not only killing harmful bacteria, but also the friendly one in our gut. This is making us susceptible to many disorders. There are many important chemicals which are produced by friendly bacteria, but one chemical is worth mentioning. This is serotonin, a natural antidepressant. 90% of serotonin is produced by gut bacteria. There is a strong correlation between gut issues and depression. Therefore, in case of depression considering to restore the gut bacterial balance may be helpful. It is worth mentioning that our intestine is directly linked with our brain through vagus nerve. This nerve can send a signal in both directions. Our intestine can even work without any physical connection to the brain, suggesting that they have their own brain. Our brain is roughly made up of a hundred billion neurons, while in our intestine there are hundreds of million neurons. This is the highest number of neurons in any organ except the brain. The friendly bacteria in our intestine is the center point for our immune system. Any disturbance here may have a devastating effect. Considering these scientific pieces of evidence, we may conclude that our gut microbes are very important. There is a need to take care of them, but how? We can take care of our friendly bacteria by taking prebiotics. There are many foods in our kitchen which act as prebiotics for example yogurt. 